We're now seeing more than 7,300 cases and an average of 20 deaths every day. And the state's positivity rate is now over 10 and a half percent. Health officials are concerned we could see those numbers climb even higher after the upcoming holidays. Joining us live now is Dr. Peter Chin Hong from UCSF. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure, Liz. Now, we've been hearing about hospital beds filling up in recent weeks due to COVID, along with flu and RSV, and especially pediatric beds. Should we be concerned about hospital capacity at this point? Uh, we should be concerned. Um, I think it's going to be very, very uncertain. Uh, we're kind of at the edge, so about 90% occupancy. Uh, doesn't leave a lot of wiggle room, particularly when we expect staff to become ill also. All right, this is a time when many folks are traveling for the holidays. You saw those crowded airports, a lot of folks hitting the road too. What's your advice to minimize the risk of getting sick? Is it just wearing that mask? Yeah, so and for people who really want to, to you know, pick the lowest hanging fruit, it's wearing the mask when it matters the most. Uh, so that is really in transportation to and from the airport, that TSA line, uh, the food court uh, when you're not eating, the gate area and particularly going on the plane and then getting off the plane because the ventilation on the plane isn't quite up to standard uh, when people are entering and exiting. Let's talk about COVID. You know, those numbers are ticking up once again. It feels like we do this every single year. Let's get a refresher on what folks should be doing. Okay, so if you've had COVID, what's kind of the, the timeline in terms of when you can actually see people, when you should be testing? Kind of remind us of that. Yeah, so the, this year we have a new thing, which is early therapy. So if you get diagnosed with COVID, make sure that, uh, you know, you're, you might be eligible for therapy. So I, I think within the first five days, definitely get that. It could cut down on hospitalizations, particularly those over 65. Um, five days uh, isolation, start testing day five onwards, day six onwards. If you're negative before day 10, you can exit isolation. After day 10, uh, don't worry testing. You can just go out into the world. Okay, yeah, I mean, you're hearing a lot of people have COVID. Fortunately, we're hearing more cases are mild, although there are some severe cases as well. If you test negative on day five and you have another test negative the next day, you should be good to go, or do you recommend masking all the way through day 10? No, I think uh, particularly for people who take Paxlovid, which drops the viral load uh, sooner, uh, if you're negative between day five and 10 uh, or day six and 10, you can... Uh, go out into the world as normal, particularly if you are two negative tests. Uh, if you're hanging out with immune compromised folks and elderly folks for a very long time, you might want to take it easy until they attend, but at least five days, that's a really golden period for kind of laying low. Right, and I know it, it happens every year. You're out with your family and then you start to get a little tickle in your throat. You test positive. You've been around all these folks. What should you do? I mean, what's kind of the, what, what do you recommend as a doctor that people should do? Yeah, so if you've been exposed to someone who's turned positive and it's a credible exposure, that is you spend a long time with that person at a dinner, for example, and they tell you you're positive, mm -hmm. uh, wait about three days, then test. Uh, you can combine your throat and your nose to increase the sensitivity. But if you have no symptoms, I won't worry. If you start getting symptoms, retest again. Uh, those, you know, you don't have to stay home while you're waiting for those three days. Just go around. Uh, you might wear a mask around vulnerable folks while waiting for day three. All right, just to be safe. All right, Dr. Peach and Hong, always great advice. Thank you so much and happy holidays. Happy holidays and eat some Dungeons crabs when it's out. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs>